Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. Today, I will regale you with the fascinating tale of the croissant, a flaky, crescent-shaped pastry that has delighted taste buds for centuries. So, buckle up and join me on this delicious journey through time and space. Our story begins in the 17th century, in the heart of the Ottoman Empire. It was a time of great conflict, and the city of Vienna found itself besieged by the powerful Ottoman army. The Viennese were determined to protect their city, and they devised an ingenious plan. The city's bakers, working tirelessly through the night, created a pastry in the shape of a crescent, the emblem of the Ottoman flag, as a symbol of resistance and unity against the invaders. The Ottoman army was ultimately repelled, and the crescent-shaped pastry became a symbol of victory and pride for the Viennese. As the years went by, the humble pastry continued to evolve, its recipe refined by the skilled hands of master bakers. In the late 17th century, the Austrian queen Marie Antoinette married the future king Louis XVI of France. With her, she brought the crescent-shaped pastry to the French court, where it quickly gained popularity. The French bakers, ever eager to put their own twist on things, began to experiment with the recipe. They introduced the technique of layering butter between sheets of dough, creating the deliciously flaky texture we associate with croissants today. In the 18th century, as the croissant's popularity grew in France, it also began to make its way across the English Channel to Britain. British bakers, impressed by the pastry's delicate layers and buttery taste, started to recreate the French treat in their own bakeries. The croissant became a staple of the British afternoon tea, often served with a dollop of clotted cream and a selection of jams. Meanwhile, in the 19th century, the croissant found its way to Russia, where it was embraced by the imperial court. The Russian aristocracy, with their love for all things French, quickly took a liking to the pastry. Russian bakers began to experiment with their own variations, incorporating traditional ingredients such as poppy seeds, honey, and sour cream into the dough. The croissant also spread to other parts of Europe during the 19th century, finding its way into the hands of bakers in Italy, Spain, and Germany. Each country put its own spin on the pastry, leading to a diverse array of croissants across the continent. In Italy, for example, the Cornetto emerged, a sweeter and softer version of the traditional croissant, often filled with cream or Nutella. As the croissant gained popularity throughout Europe, many stories and legends began to circulate about the origin of the pastry. Some claimed that the croissant was actually created in Budapest, Hungary, during the 1686 siege of the city by the Ottoman Empire. According to this story, the city's bakers, like their Viennese counterparts, made pastries in the shape of the crescent moon to celebrate their victory over the invaders. While the exact origins of the croissant remain a subject of debate, these tales only serve to further enhance the mystique and appeal of the pastry. During the latter half of the 19th century, the croissant found a new home in the cafes and salons of the European intellectual elite. Writers, artists, and philosophers would gather in these spaces to discuss ideas, share their work, and debate the pressing issues of the day. The croissant, with its elegant form and rich flavor, became the perfect accompaniment to these gatherings, symbolizing the refined taste and sophistication of the time. By the late 19th century, the croissant had become a truly global phenomenon, as trade routes and colonial expansion brought the pastry to far-flung corners of the earth. The croissant found its way to places like India, where it was adapted to local tastes with the addition of spices like cardamom and saffron. In the Americas, the croissant became a popular addition to the breakfast table, enjoyed with a cup of coffee or tea. In the final years of the 19th century, the croissant had established itself as an enduring symbol of European culinary culture. Its delicate layers, buttery flavor, and rich history had captured the hearts and taste buds of people around the world. As the 20th century dawned, the croissant was poised to continue its remarkable journey, evolving and adapting to the changing tastes and demands of an increasingly interconnected world. In the 19th century, as Europe experienced the Industrial Revolution, innovations in technology and transportation allowed the croissant to spread far and wide. Trains and steamships carried the delightful pastry to all corners of the continent, and it became a staple in bakeries and patisseries from Paris to Prague. The 20th century saw the croissant evolve further still. As the world became more interconnected, bakers around the globe took inspiration from each other's work, incorporating new flavors and fillings into their creations. The traditional butter croissant was joined by almond, chocolate, and ham and cheese varieties, among others. 
As the 20th century progressed, the croissant began to take on new forms, as it was embraced by different cultures and culinary traditions. In the United States, the croissant became a popular brunch item, often filled with egg, bacon, or avocado. Meanwhile, in South America, a popular variation called media lunas emerged, which boasted a sweeter and denser texture. During the 1950s, as the world experienced the rise of consumerism and the age of the supermarket, the croissant found a new home on grocery store shelves. Pre-packaged croissants allowed people to enjoy the pastry from the comfort of their own homes, although some argue that the quality and taste of these mass-produced versions could not compare to those found in artisan bakeries. The 1960s and 1970s brought about a greater focus on health and wellness. The croissant, with its buttery layers and rich fillings, was often seen as an indulgence. In response, bakers began experimenting with healthier alternatives, such as whole wheat and spelt flour croissants, which catered to the growing demand for nutritious options. In the 1980s, the croissant reached new heights of popularity with the opening of Le Croissant Shop in New York City. This cafe, dedicated solely to croissants, offered a wide variety of flavors and fillings, from sweet to savory, and even seasonal specialties. Its success led to the establishment of similar shops around the world, solidifying the croissant's place in the pantheon of beloved pastries. The 1990s saw the rise of foodie culture, which further fueled the croissant's evolution. Chefs and bakers were inspired to push the boundaries of the pastry, creating inventive and even outrageous combinations. One particularly memorable example was the lobster croissant, which featured a rich lobster bisque filling encased in a delicate, flaky crust. The early 21st century marked the advent of social media and the rise of food photography. The croissant, with its beautiful layers and golden hue, became a favorite subject for Instagrammers and food bloggers alike. This exposure helped introduce the croissant to an even wider audience, further cementing its status as a global culinary sensation. As the world continued to change, so did the croissant. The growing awareness of environmental issues and sustainable living led to the creation of vegan croissants, which replaced butter with plant-based alternatives. This allowed those with dietary restrictions to enjoy the pastry without compromising their values. In 2020, the global pandemic brought about a resurgence in home baking, as people sought comfort in the simple pleasures of the kitchen. The croissant, once seen as an elusive and difficult-to-master pastry, became a popular challenge for amateur bakers. Online tutorials and workshops flourished, teaching people the intricate techniques needed to create the perfect croissant at home. As the 2020s continued, the croissant began to take on new cultural significance, emerging as an emblem of hope and resilience in the face of adversity. Communities around the world banded together, sharing their stories and experiences through the shared language of food. The croissant, with its rich history and diverse variations, became a powerful symbol of unity and connection. In the 2030s, the culinary world saw the rise of molecular gastronomy, which sought to blend science with the art of cooking. The croissant, ever the subject of innovation, was no exception. Renowned chefs experimented with new techniques and ingredients, such as edible foams and flavor-infused gels, to create croissants that were not only delicious but visually stunning and texturally surprising. The 2040s brought about the development of advanced 3D food printers, which revolutionized the way we prepared and consumed food. The croissant, with its intricate layers and delicate structure, became an ideal candidate for this cutting-edge technology. Master bakers could now design and print croissants with unprecedented precision, allowing for even more intricate and elaborate creations. During the 2050s, as space exploration and colonization expanded, the croissant made its way to the stars. The pastry found a home in the space stations and lunar colonies that began to dot the solar system. Bakers adapted the traditional croissant recipe to suit the unique challenges of baking in space, such as the absence of gravity and the need for long-lasting, nutrient-dense food. The 2060s saw the rise of culinary tourism, as people ventured across the globe in search of new and exciting food experiences. The croissant, with its myriad variations and rich history, became a popular draw for tourists seeking an authentic taste of the countries they visited. Croissant-themed tours, tastings, and workshops flourished, allowing travelers to immerse themselves in the world of this iconic pastry. In the 2070s, as the effects of climate change continued to intensify, the focus shifted towards sustainable and eco-friendly food practices. The croissant, once synonymous with indulgence, 
was reinvented using ingredients like cricket flour and algae-based butter, catering to a growing demand for alternative protein sources and reduced environmental impact. The 2080s witnessed the emergence of virtual reality as a prominent form of entertainment and education. Culinary enthusiasts could now step into the shoes of master bakers from the past, learning the secrets of the perfect croissant through immersive, hands-on experiences. These virtual lessons brought the art of croissant making to an even wider audience, ensuring that the pastry's legacy would live on for generations to come. As we move through the 21st century and beyond, the croissant continues to captivate and inspire. Its journey, from its humble origins in the Ottoman Empire to its status as a beloved global icon, is a testament to the power of culinary innovation and human creativity. The croissant story is far from over, and as we face the challenges and uncertainties of the future, one thing is certain. The croissant will continue to evolve, adapt, and delight taste buds around the world. Until we meet again, farewell.